Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kia. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, hey boo. This is the state of my twists right now. I've been keeping them in like a high bun throughout the week. So I did go ahead and make some rosemary and clove water and I will be using that on my scalp only and then some distilled water and then a leave-in and then an oil to seal my hair so let's go do that this is pretty straightforward not a long video you're probably wondering why i am doing this method and i am doing it because i am trying my best to reduce the amount of manipulation that i have in my hair but i still need to moisturize my hair after a week that's typically when moisture leaves the hair I am going in and I am doing this and then I will assess my scalp and my hair the following week and that will determine if I have a wash day or not. More than likely I will have a wash day. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so you can try either this method of doing a multiple twists at the same time, but I personally don't think that it will give you that more refreshed look. Or you can stay tuned for the rest of the video and you'll see where I pretty much did one section and was like, oh no, nah, let me just go ahead and retwist each twist. And that's the benefit of having larger twists. Like I love my mini twists, but y'all, I'm telling you, especially if you wash your hair more frequently, make your twist a little bit larger, not super large, but just a little bit larger, like a medium twist, and it's still going to give. So here's the amount of hair that came out during the whole process. This is what my hair looks when everything is done. I went through and I retwisted each twist and just tucked any kind of like loose hairs that were coming out 
or anything that was giving the energy that it wanted to start matting I just gently separated that and did the little layering of the products that I showed you in the beginning of the video and now this is how I wear my hair around the house you want to make sure that you take your hair off of your shoulders or any kind of material like the couch or just anything rough and protect those ends so I have that kind of hair where in order to grow it these are the things that I have to do you might not need to do all of these things but I know my hair and I recommend that you get to know your hair <laughs> so and I mean that in the kindest way but um, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure like my scalp and stuff is dry before I go ahead and put my scarf on and then that's what I do to re-moisturize my medium slash chunky twists. And I really like this better than the mini twists because, I mean, yes, the mini twists I feel like are cuter, right? But, well, it depends on what you like because these give like a nice little kind of more voluminous twist out right and the smaller the twist the more defined the curl will be but with this I was able to go ahead and take down each twist and then do my whole head re-moisturize my whole head and now I'm set for a whole nother week you know so that's my preference I love that we'll see if I need a wash day coming up more than likely I will but um, the goal is not to manipulate your hair as much and try hardest not to, you know, do the most with your hair. Literally just leave it alone. Your hair will be fine. I promise you. If you just make sure it's moisturized and you're not doing any crazy stuff, your hair will grow. Your hair will do its thing. Like you, you're going to be good. So this is really the end of the video. And thanks for tuning in. Make sure you give me a like. And I will see you in the next video right here. Bye.